Hello there, my name is John, and in this video, I would like to introduce to you SV Bonnie's high performance digital planetary camera, the SV305. First off, we'll take a look at what's inside the box. I'll then show you how to put it all together. Then we'll take a look at how to connect it to our telescope and notebook computer. We'll then need to register our new device in SharpCap. Then we'll try to collect our first planetary image. And at the end of this presentation, I'll show you some sample processed images I previously taken of Jupiter and Saturn. Let's see what's inside. As with all of SV Bonnie's devices, it's packed extremely well and in a nice solid and secure box. And inside we have the SV Bonnie 305 digital camera. On the face of the camera is the socket for the USB cable to connect to your notebook computer. The camera is also fitted with a dust cover to protect the sensitive CMOS sensor. So this unit comes with a Sony IMX290 color sensor which supports resolutions of up to two megapixels. The pixel size that you get with the camera is around 2.9 microns, and it also supports a very high frame rate of up to 130 frames per second. Also in the box is a 1.25 inch extension tube, and also a C-Lens adapter. In the lower part of the box, we have the cables and accessories. Here is the USB cable. We have some lens cleaning cloth. There's a CD containing drivers and other useful information. And also, finally, we have the user manual. So, to summarize, here is a list of all the items that are included in the package. Now let's put it all together. First, we remove the protective cover from our camera and we attach the 1.25 inch extension tube to our camera. Now, in this demonstration, I'm planning to use a Celestron 2X Barlow lens. So, Let's attach it to our camera, like this, and tighten the screw. And now we are ready to attach this to our telescope. We're now going to connect our SV Bonnie 305C planetary camera to our telescope. In this video, I'm using a Celestron Nexstar 8SE telescope. This is fitted with a Celestron focusing motor and also an SV Bonnie 208 finder scope. So, the first thing that we do is we remove the eyepiece from our telescope and we insert our SV Bonnie camera like this. Now, you notice the white dots which I use to align the telescope with the camera. I find this very useful when navigating to planetary objects in SharpCap.
Next, we will attach our USB cable. To the camera and we attach the other end to our notebook computer. Notice I have white dots on both the cable and the notebook computer. This assists me to locate the USB port and also to get the correct orientation when I'm working in the dark. So, the final connection configuration looks like this. Before you can register your device in SharkCap, you should first go to the SV Bonnie website and download the latest driver. Simply go to the support page, select software and driver, If your notebook operating system is Windows, select it and under SV Bonny Cameras, click Download. Once your software is downloaded, install it into your notebook computer and then start SharpCap. Once you have successfully updated the drivers in your notebook computer, Start SharpCap, then go to the Cameras menu and select SV Bonnie SV305. After a few seconds, the camera will load into SharpCap. Okay, we now have an SV305 image of Jupiter displayed on our screen in SharpCap. Now, I always like to start my imaging by selecting the largest capture area possible to simplify object identification and then to progressively reduce the capture area to a level where I can then start to collect my planetary image. Now, I'm using a color space of RAW16 and an output format of SER. And if I click on the Auto White Balance Adjust button, I can correct the image color. Now, if we maximize our exposure and gain settings, we'll be able to see Jupiter's moons. You can see we have Ganymede and Europa. I like to use Jupiter's moons to fine tune the focus of my telescope before imaging the planet itself. Now let's readjust the settings to their previous values. And I'm now going to adjust the capture area down to 1024 by 768. And then recenter the image. I'll then repeat the operation, reducing the capture area again to 800 by 600. And ensure the image is centered. And then finally, I'll go to 640 by 480. This is the capture area that I normally use when I'm imaging planets. Now, we select Sharp Cap Histogram. This will assist us in making sure that our image exposure and gain are indeed set correctly and to help us to avoid image overexposure. Always make sure that the logarithmic checkbox is ticked. And then we go to Quick Capture. And we'll select 120 seconds. So we're now downloading our image. After downloading, I use Auto Stack Art and Registax to process the image. 
And at the end of this presentation are two process images of Jupiter and Saturn that I previously collected. 